Make sure you study your diagram and make sure you understand we want to know to the nearest foot how many feet of walking distance a person saves by cutting across the lawn. So first, let's solve for x by using the Pythagorean theorem. Length of leg squared plus length of leg squared is the hypotenuse squared. Be careful when squaring this binomial. That's x squared plus 16x plus 64. But if you square the binomial, subtract 400 from both sides, you'll have 2x squared plus 16x minus 336 is equal to 0. And then there's a common factor here of 2, which I will divide through then. Each term I'm dividing by 2, so that's x squared plus 8x minus 168 is equal to 0. You can use this equation or this equation and plug values into the quadratic formula. You'll get the same answers or proposed solutions. It's just that these numbers are smaller, so easier to deal with. Now, solve this quadratic equation by using the quadratic formula. You'll have that x is equal to negative 8 plus or minus the square root of 736 all over 2. And then you'll need to simplify this. There is a perfect square factor of 4 in 736. 736 is 4 times 184. The 4 comes out as a 2. Then you will factor out a common factor of 2 to divide out with this 2. When you do all of that, you'll have negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 184. Now, negative 4 minus 184 is a negative number. And remember, x represents the length of the leg. So we do not use that. And we will look at specifically negative 4 plus square root of 184. And that is approximately 9 and 6 tenths. And remember, we're in feet. So let's think a moment about our triangle. Think a moment at the triangle that was given to you. And remember what x stands for. And x is approximately 9 and 6 tenths feet. So look what we have. Now I'll hand draw my right triangle. This is 20 feet. This is 9 and 6 tenths feet. This is 8 feet longer, so this is 17 and 6 tenths feet. We want to know how much time or how much uh, walking distance we save by walking along the diagonal. So let's see by adding these two. If we add these two, we have a sum of 27. Twenty-seven and two tenths feet walking distance. If we subtract from the twenty feet, how much longer does this take? Approximately seven and two tenths feet. So rounded to the nearest whole foot, approximately seven feet longer to walk around the corner rather than the diagonal.